The Arturian Group Message, May 11, 2014 Greetings dear ones, we come once again to guide you in whatever ways we can, but you must always remember that enlightenment is your mission, your journey, and your choice. There are still some who choose to do nothing while awaiting a savior in the form of a man, book, tool, event, or galactic. This reflects an old belief system, separation from source and the need for something outside of oneself to be saved. Your savior is within you, dear ones, always has been and always will be, it is what you already are. Your Savior has been resting quietly within, awaiting recognition lifetime after lifetime, through the good and not so good experiences of life lived in duality and separation. There comes a point in everyone's spiritual journey when they are finally evolved enough to recognize and embrace the truth about themselves. Issues of life that seemed important then begin to fade into the nothingness that they are, and the individual no longer feels the need to look outside of himself. He begins to seek within to his own divine essence for guidance and discovers that he is that which he has been seeking, the long-hidden secret, dear ones. Arcturian group wishes to speak of love as the essence of spiritual growth. Love is the realization of, and the activities that flow from an attained awareness of one in which everything and everyone exists. In the third dimensional belief system of duality and separation, Love, oneness, is always interpreted in a personal way depending upon the individual state of consciousness, the energetic connections of oneness between people thus are sometimes good and sometimes bad. Love is the universal oneness of all within an omnipresent divine consciousness ever expressing itself in infinite form and variety. As the realization of oneness awakens within an individual, it begins to appear in the outer as peace, joy, understanding and cooperation, those qualities that make life enjoyable, the activities of many within the one. As you observe a world of strife and war, know that what you are seeing is the manifestation of impersonal universal duality separation consciousness which has no divine law to hold any of it in place. Illusion is how the world has been seen and interpreted. The earth, Gaia, is not an illusion as many have thought, but is a living soul. Anything you can see, hear, taste, touch, or smell is a material interpretation of its spiritual reality. You may say, is war a spiritual reality? War is the outer manifestation of the consciousness of separation which will change as more and more awaken into the realization of oneness. The spiritual light of an awakening world is bringing to service and illuminate much that heretofore has been kept in the shadows. It may seem as though personally and globally things are worse, but everything that is old and finished is being exposed by your light dear ones, in order that it may be cleared and released. You are changing world consciousness simply by living, moving, and having your being in the truth of who you really are. As individual and global consciousness of oneness, love, grows, it automatically transforms the appearances of discord into cooperation and peace whether it be in family relationships or in the world. It is important to understand that your oneness with divine consciousness constitutes your oneness with completeness, your good. This may manifest outwardly as closure to those things you no longer resonate with, people, lifestyles, or activities. Anything that no longer resonates with your energy may cease to be a part of your life because it does not represent completeness for you. This is why we urge you not to try and hold on to anything that is finished, no matter how well it may have served you in the past. All are moving into new places of energy and enlightenment which in turn will manifest outwardly in new forms. Be prepared for change, for evolution will always manifest as change. As you see and interact with all other life forms, you interact with yourself for there is only one, one, one and therefore that which you do to another, say to another, give to another, you do for yourself, see? This is the origin of karma and is how it works until an individual is able to move into a more evolved state of consciousness, where he no longer needs the difficult and painful lessons of karma, but instead is able to be taught from within. This message of oneness has been given by masters throughout time, but has always been lost through the misinterpretation of unenlightened followers who would teach others their limited and less evolved concepts of the original message. 
This has been reflected in the many holy wars throughout history and even now. Whenever pure teachings are organized, the deeper truths are always lost through the actions of those who join and begin to present their own concepts of the original teachings. The belief that one needs someone, some organization, or some tool in order to spiritually grow is false and obsolete, and will keep you locked into separation. Your church is within you, dear ones. Oneness, love, is the law, the reality, and the truth, but this realization may cause confusion for those comfortable within their established belief system. Truth can be accepted and lived or not, but truth itself changes not. There are many spiritually ready living in resistance, having to move forward the hard way by getting wake-up calls. Others are suddenly getting it, having prepared themselves in other lifetimes. There are also those who fully awakened in other lifetimes and are now choosing to be on earth in order to assist an awakening world. It is a time of great change for all. Everyone, whether aware of it or not, is feeling physically, emotionally, and mentally the intense energy pouring onto earth and bringing with it the release of all that is finished personally and globally. The new and higher energies of light are causing many to rethink their beliefs, and some with no understanding of what is taking place, are tempted to panic. You can help those tempted to fear and panic to open to the bigger picture, not that you become missionaries, but that you simply throw out seeds of truth to those receptive. Never force the deeper truths onto another, thinking you are helping them for they may not yet be ready, and your actions can easily become exercises of personal ego the mistake many have made in the past and still make. As you observe the efforts of those who would keep the world in lack, chaos, and war, know that there is no law to support or sustain these appearances, and that all are in and of the one, even though unaware of it. How often do you pray for your enemies, dear ones, or do you pray only for victims? There is only one, and this realization is love, and the secret of life you have sought for so long, lifetime after lifetime, symbolized as the search for the Holy Grail. You are now ready to grasp and live this divine secret, and in so doing will see the change you desire. Be the light, be the way, be the truth, a reality that not only refers to one man two thousand years ago. This is how the world will awaken. We are the Arcturian Group. Channeled by Marilyn Raphael. www.onenessofall.com